Hello, and in this screencast I want to talk about titles and icons. So uh, what we're looking at here from my simple object is um, the title, and the title is what you see here uh, as rendered as a hyperlink, um, and it's an identifier of the object to, to the user of the application. Um, you can see that this is returning a translatable string. That's part of uh, ISIS's internationalization support, which we'll talk about in a later um, uh, uh, screencast. But um, it's also possible just to return any string, really. So you could just return um, name or something like this. This would be fine. So we'll look at that in a second and run, run the application up again. Um, but what I also want to show is we can also modify the uh, icon. So the icon we're seeing here actually is um, this PNG file. But um, what we might want to do is perhaps customize the icon. Uh, so for example, you can see I have uh, here's a flag and here's another flag, one's colored, one's not. So um, if we have a method called icon name, then this could read the value of um, the flag property I have and then it could return either on or off and there's a naming convention you can probably figure it out which is the value there is uh, used as a suffix for the name of the class so if we run, run the application up again okay and let's go and look at the application and so we can see that the icon has changed uh, or so is the title in fact um, and if I were to toggle the value then we can see that we bring in the other uh, icon. So that's uh, what those two uh, methods do. And we can go one step further because we can also influence the CSS. So there's a, uh, a very similar method called CSS class that we can override. And um, in fact, we can almost use the same implementation as we have for the icon name. So um, this CSS uh, will be used when we render the domain object in collections. So if we go and look at the application, then on the home page we have a list of um, these objects. And if we just um, use the browser's development tools, and we can have a look at the rows that are rendered here. If I just find the right place for it. So you can see um, three rows there, and you can see the word off because these are toggled off. If we go and change one of these, go back to our home page, then with a following wind, we will see um, off, on, off. And so now what we can also do is we can use this um, CSS class and add some styling. And the way in which we do that is that there's a file called application.css and this gets served up automatically. As you can see, it starts off being empty. Um, so I happen to have somewhere, hopefully, some CSS we can just paste in here. I'm just going to reload the changed files and then go back to my uh, application Control R to reload the CSS, and we can see that um, I've got uh, various rules to color and to add a, a strike through. Let's have a look at the, uh, the text there. You can see that's what was defined in the application CSS. Okay, so let's have a quick uh, review of what we just saw there. We've basically got three different um, methods title, which can return a string or a translatable string for the internationalization, and icon name, which is used as a suffix and uh, for the to locate the PNG file and then CSS class that's used within the, um, the rendered HTML and you can apply your own uh, CSS classes using application.css file. Okay, so I hope that made sense. Give it a go. Try it out.